Hey, so I'm going to talk through uh, basically the life cycle of a couple of transactions in Dia and how they flow through to zero. So this video is going to assume uh, that you're involved in the project with us or you have already set zero up. We've got other videos that go through the details like chart of accounts and things like that. Uh, this is more of a day-to-day -day workflow video. Um, so we've got a zero sync in Dia. Uh, I'm just showing here that we're starting it no errors, uh, everything already synced, um, all of our history is completed. So the first thing I'm going to do here is put a purchase in the system. So I'm just going to raise a purchase order. Um, I'm going to flow straight through the actual process in Dia. So I'm going to order it, receive it all in one process. Um, again, assuming that you know or can handle the Dia processes, this is more for the, the zero side of things. Um, so we'll grab uh, the supply here. This is a useful one to use because they are foreign currency. Uh, and in this case, we'll buy a couple of different products from these guys. So we'll buy 100 kilos of grain and uh, we'll also buy some labels. Uh, so authorize that order. Uh, and then what we're going to do is uh, receive this order as well. Um, but first we'll pop an invoice in. So we'd have a supplier bill number here, um, and I'll date this for, uh, let's say it was Monday, so the 24th of Feb. Um, I'll put the due date out to 28th of Feb. And I'll authorize that invoice. So now that that is done, you'll see here that we've got some information needs syncing. Um, so what I'll do here is click sync now. You wouldn't normally do this after every single transaction, but you, I'm doing it here just for the purposes of benefit to show all the life cycles of these products. So here there's going to be a purchase invoice that goes through into Zero. So I've got our Zero account here. This is just a demo account that we use for our videos. Um, so I'll jump back to the dashboard here and just note that this is now finished syncing. So the important point we're looking at here is we've got a purchase invoice that's gone through to zero um, and a couple of product lines as well. So if I now go into zero and look at bills you need to pay. Then the last bill here has the supplier bill number in zero, has the total amount in euros. And if I go into that bill, you'll see the individual line items with the amount you ordered, with the details and so on. There's also a live link here, so I can click here to just go out and view that in Dear Inventory. And also from Dear against the invoice, I can view this in Zero. So there's that live linking. There is also the possibility on purchases of having accrued transactions for things like goods not received, but I'm not going to go into that in detail in this session. Uh, now I'll just show the same for a sale. Uh, and then finally in a moment I'll show the same for stock adjustments. So here I'll pop a sale in uh, to a customer here. And again, I'll, I'll fly through the DIA side of the process just to keep things nice and simple. And once again, I'll use a couple of lines of products just to show the details that go through. And I'm just going to raise this invoice, just noting that I've not picked pack shipped yet. Um, so I'll put this is dated the first. This client obviously has 14 day terms. And I'll authorize this information. Then we'll go and sync now once again. So this time we're going to see a sales invoice go through, where we saw a purchase invoice go through last time. So over in zero, I'll just go back to the dashboard. wait for zero to kick in. So when zero syncs, it does a few things. It does tax rules and chart accounts and things like that first, because they affect obviously the transactions. Um, and then we've got one invoice exported. There's the invoice there. And if I go to invoices owed to you, you all, then we'll see the latest one in here, date of the first, due on the 15th. And if I go in again, we'll have all the key information and the quantities and the prices as well. You'll also note here we've got the salesperson and the department also syncing through uh, from DM. 
Um, now what I'll do here is I'll go into this invoice and ship those goods. That will send a manual journal through for the cost of goods sold. So here we'll pick these products and we'll ship these products. Um, if we go to the logs and attributes, sorry, if we go to logs and attributes, we'll see here now there is a uh, cost of goods sold. This is effectively the uh, movement from Dia's asset account to your purchases, your cost of goods sold account. And once again, we'll sync. And this time we'll see a manual journal through there. So once again, as with every sync, Dia will look for any new chart of accounts, tax rules and similar, and then we'll send the transaction go back to the dashboard again in zero. Uh, one point to note for this video is you don't have to have zero open to do this syncing. I just have it open just for the purposes of demonstration here. Uh, the sync will work because the systems are connected in the back end anyway. So now we've got the cost of goods sold. And if I just go to view in zero, we'll see a manual journal purchases back to dear. The last piece of the puzzle then is if you handle any uh, stock adjustments, stock takes or write-offs. So, for example, here, if I do a stock adjustment, um, I'm going to expense this to advertising. So we gave some products away, uh, let's say, for a promotion. Um, and we gave away some uh, bottles from the Melbourne Warehouse. So we had 24776. We gave away six of them. complete that stock adjustment and just one final time we'll do a sync and you'll see another cost of goods sold this time it will have advertising on the other side of the ledger rather than your standard purchases account so one more sync one more attempt at the chart of accounts and the tax rules and then we'll see this final journal just to close out the loop of transactions so one manual journal created Just give a moment for the rest of the entries. One manual journal ST being a stock take or stock adjustment. Um, if we view that in zero, then this is from uh, the asset account to advertising.